Okay, welcome to Advent of Code. Uh, today we are solving, uh, catching up actually on Advent of Code. We have three more tasks ahead of us. Uh, right now we are solving task number five. Um, yeah, I'm used clerk for the previous one, but I'm not sure I want more. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe we'll use more. Okay, we'll see what, what task is about. Okay, supply stacks. Uh, if it's visual, maybe it looks visual, so maybe we'll use humble UI actually instead. Uh, the expedition can depart as soon as the final supplies have been unloaded from the ships. Supplies are stored in stacks of marked crates, but because they need supplies are built under many of the crates, the crates need to be rearranged. Okay, we are going to play towers of how it's called, towers of Babylon or something. Uh, let me put it. Center and maybe for no. I guess. Okay. Uh, the ship has a giant cargo crane capable of moving crates between stacks. Ensure none of the crates get crashed or fall over. The crane operator will rearrange them in a series of carefully planned steps. After the crates uh, are rearranged. No. Okay. Sorry about that. But. Yeah, I need, I need my comments visible on the other screen. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I wasn't want to interrupt the crane period during this delicate procedure, but they forgot to ask how which crate will end up where, and they want to be ready to unload them as soon as possible they can embark. They do, however, have a drawing of the starting stacks of crates and the rearrangement procedure your yeah, puzzle input. For example, okay. Hmm. <coughs> We have this. Uh, move one from two to one. So basically, we move D here. Oh, yeah, this is, looks like it should be visualized with humble UI actually. So maybe some humble UI action. Uh, the three, three stacks of crates. Stack one contains two crates. Crate Z is on the bottom. Uh, crate N is on the top. Stack two, blah, blah, blah. The rearrangement procedure is given. Uh, so basically, we take D from here, we put it here. In the second step, we create some move from stack one to stack three. It's actually interesting, moved one at a time. So we take D out and put it here. So we basically reverse it. Okay. Uh, then both crates are moved from stack 2 to stack 1 again because crates are moved one at a time. Crate C ends up below crate M. Finally, one crate is moved from stack 1 to stack 2. I also just need to know which crate will end up on top of which stack. In this example, the top crates are C in stack 1, M in stack 2. And okay, after the arrangement procedure completes, the crate ends up on top of each stack. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, not sure about. Uh, clerk yet? Maybe, 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 humble UI, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure actually, uh, we probably won't need this, but maybe we would, I don't know. Um, Let me do this, this is our sample, and we always use samples, so like this, it looks a little bit offset, uh, who started for info? I didn't ask for pardon. It's nice, but um, it messes up my stuff sometimes. Okay, hmm. it's very interesting, like because this is like visual representation, so we have to parsing parse it. So basically, parsing this is like probably the biggest bigger task than processing all this. Uh, while we at it, at it uh, let me put the input. In here, right? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we can actually cheat and type this manually or something like that, but no, the, there is no file in that. Um, so I guess 
we need three parsing functions, right? Uh, first one parses this layout, the second one skips over this, and the third one parses this, right? Um, this one is interesting. We can parse each line separately, but then we have to basically transpose our matrix because we will probably go line by line. Um, yeah, it's it's very interesting. Let's uh, let's let's see, let's let's try to write uh, a function, right? So def and parse. Well, we can start with. Re, we can do re seek and write uh, like and take sample in here. Okay, so basically, what we are saying it's either this or. Space, 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 right? And we're actually interested in this part or or a space. Then some spaces. Um, <laughs> then one white space or zero. Well, actually, well, no, this is fine by me like what if we get this no this is something so we get space d then we get new um Somehow we had, we also had to like Basically, we have one of this, what we're not interested in, in, in this. We're not interested in this either, right? But we have space question mark. Uh -huh. Huh. It kind of works. -ish. I'm not sure how this works actually, but maybe. Uh, Maybe we remove this. And we do map. RE seek percent sample asters with lines keep maybe. Right. Um, I 
It doesn't capture like the original space. Huh. For some reason. Ah, no, it, it does, it does actually, it does. Um, and we also want this, so basically the denial, wait, what? Okay, now I'm confused. Oh, it's either first or second, but basically we need mm. we need second, right? No. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> maybe. No, not, not keep. Yeah, this is correct. Okay, so nil d nil uh, and c nil z m p is correct, and then after that it's incorrect. Right? <laughs> there is nil nil because there are like triple spaces. Um, so. So we need uh, some, it's somewhere here. Index. Well, we can do re matches. Uh, re find actually. Yeah, so uh, we parse the first part, which is which is good, right? Um, except we now need to transpose it somehow. Uh, to transpose it, what do we do? What do we do? Um, I remember somebody mentioned on Twitter some cool way of transposing this no okay Yeah, okay, so this is transpose. Okay, so let's make a function out of it, right? And we, we, we actually need... Um, uh, 
reverse skip identity kind of. Okay, uh, let's write a function called different parse stacks. It will take data, all right? Uh, let lines, this is lines, right? Well, actually, data is gonna be this. Okay, let's call it rows. Uh, these are going to be calls. Okay, vector rows map v calls and what we want to do is you know what maybe instead of vector here we can do keep re reverse Now wait, wait, what? Uh, like when we had vector here, it worked, right? No. Okay, this is because I messed up this part. No, still no. Okay, yes, and here we are going to do um, keep identity reverse percent. Okay. Um, Basically, adding reverse does nothing for some reason. I'll keep identity doesn't do. Maybe we don't need. That n. Yeah. Ah, because because yeah because this is already a collection, right? Kind of. So basically, we take, we say this, we reverse, keep or take while sum um, and back. So the first is ZN, the second is MCD. And the third is P. It seems seems to work. Uh, it's very hard to. <laughs> um. Let's um, 
let's write a function called transpose def transpose um, so basically calls is going to be transpose rows okay so this is like might be tricky to understand how it works but uh, because we have give it a name hopefully it's clear at least what it does right and then we are going to do what we are going to do is okay let's first see what we're dealing with right um, example. Okay, basically what we need is map. We probably um, and for each of those we need to take reverse take some take while sum and vec no yeah we need percent in here and we need this yeah okay so hopefully it's more transparent now but maybe some comments wouldn't hurt uh, so basically what we do first is we filter input for stack lines only right then parse or parse for for look look for the sequence of either slash w or triple space in each line right and transpose reverse and drop nails hopefully hopefully this is self-documenting uh, cool sublime setup can something like this be done for python 2 which too has a repl um i have no idea actually probably probably why not i guess so um, well, it might even be easier for Python because uh, so Sublime I had to implement it in Python, but in Python you will implement it in Python, so it should be natural, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, well, actually, like the hardest task is probably well, you, you'll need remote eval server, something to send evals to, right? Something that talks network. Uh, then you would probably need a way to determine boundaries of block. Like when I click here, um, sorry, click here, it determines where block starts and ends and evals the whole block. Uh, which probably could be done quite cheaply, easily. And easier, if, even if not, there are probably Python par parches in Python, right? So like. There are no closure parses in Python, so I have to cheat, but in Python it could be done probably correctly. And then, uh, yeah, you just send forms, uh, respond with um, results and show them. And this uh, thing on the right, it's sublime stuff. You basically can add comment to a region. So 
I, I just select this region and add comment and it displayed here. And Sublime handles all this like layout. Yeah, it should be, it should be possible. Okay, uh, one minute break and we will continue to parsing. We also have to parse this. All right, uh, and after that we can start implementing algorithm, but algorithm will probably be super simple, but yeah, one minute break. Okay, for the second part, let's parse this this one. It's basically uh, will, will be probably called parse moves, but it's way simpler, right? Parse moves, um, moves lines only, and essentially what we need is starts with move. Um, so we only need those lines. And what we're gonna do is four um, line lines let uh, from, uh, no, sorry, amount from two, um, yeah, match move slash d plus from slash d plus to slash d plus, kind of, right? Um, amount well basically from to amount and parse long from parse long to parse long amount okay and we probably want a vector uh -huh. Parse move sample. Uh, we pass. Huh. Yeah, we forgot. This. 
Okay, and seems right from two to one, move one, from one to three, move three. Okay, first moves, cool. Uh, next, I actually prefer comment because comment, I have shortcut for a while inside comment. Okay, um, pars, whatever, we don't need pars probably. Uh, we have stacks, pars, stacks data. We have uh, moves, pars, moves data, right? Uh, now, um, what we want to implement is basically run the move, right? Run move, run move, run move, run move. Okay, and run move basically uh, is a function. Uh, move uh, function that takes stacks and keys from to amount. Right. And basically, it's reduce uh, move one stacks uh, so range one. Yeah. And now we need uh, basically a function called move one, which takes stacks and moves one block from stack from to stack two, right? Um, if I remember correctly, we have pop and and pick, right? We have okay, okay. Uh, let L equals um, we know what we actually want here deck because we want zero zero based indexes right uh, I'll pick and stacks from this is what we move right um, stacks update from pop update to conch l kind of like this uh, if everything is vector we should be all right um, let's see let's take stacks and move from two to one right so we have our stacks sample right like this let's test this Uh, basically, this is goes from bottom to top and move one, parse the example. Well, basically, we want two to one. So, basically, from two to one. So, well, actually, this is from one to zero, actually. From one to zero and Basically, what that means, we take D and put it in Z and D, M, C. Yeah, it seems to work. Seems to work, okay. Uh, so, final stacks will be basically re reduce move stacks moves, right? 
Um, and what what is required from us? We want last from each stack, right? So basically, map start join a map peak stacks. Okay, kind of CMZ, CMZ. No, uh, but we don't have it for data. What's what's with data? Oh, wait, what? That is much bigger, right? Why? Why am I getting the same? Answer. Ah, that's why because moves are wrong, and actually this is <laughs> wrong as well. Um, okay, okay, yeah, that's unfortunate, but yeah, now it's more, more, it's more like it. And now something doesn't work even. Uh huh. Um. Something with transpose is not working, which is strange because because this this works, right? And this works, and this works, and this works. Why why doesn't this work? Parse text part one. Because I'm using some sample one, and we don't have sample one, we have sample. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Ah, I, I shouldn't have used quotes. It was stupid of me. And now we have to wait. Um, meanwhile, should we document anything here? Filter. This is pretty straightforward. Zero based index, right? All right. Um, get last. Remove last. Add to the end. All right, as long as uh, these are vectors, repeat amount of times, basically we apply the same move. Same. Yeah, that's the right answer. Of course, it's the right answer. Uh, I can probably get nice visualization from here, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Maybe if we have some time. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, could be nice, actually. How could we would we solve it? How many steps are there? Like five hundred, right? Five 
500. If we want it for one minute, one minute has 60 seconds. So it's basically 10 moves per second. And we'll have to wait for the whole minute. 10 moves per second. 10 moves per second. Which means 100 milliseconds per move. Possible? It's impossible. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's 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 build visualization like let's have fun like why not have fun right um i have humble ui somewhere i did use it for something maybe for for what oh it was in 2018 somewhere i think like here yeah. yeah, 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 this is humble UI stuff, okay, all right, okay, let's copy this, right, uh, let's buy, paste it like before part two, mm -hmm. um, this, I don't know, uh, how, Yeah, we don't need per info. This reformats my files that I touch and I don't like that. Okay, um, actually we need probably... All this. And probably this, or some of this at least, right? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And there is some stuff going on: field, text, scale, width, height, size, uh, size of the map. But pff, we know the size of the map, right? It's one, two, three, it's like nine by nine-ish. Let's say 10 by 10. Um, We are going to call it dim, and dim is going to be code with 10, code height. 10. Uh, well, height uh, is probably, we probably want extra, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we need some somewhere to to keep stacks, I guess. All right. Okay. Um, Basically, column is gonna be stacks row column. Do I have zip? Yes, I have zip. Cool, 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 cool. Zip range x. Range uh, rect is gonna be uh, basically x multiplied by dim, <laughs> uh, y multiplied by dim, but this is will be uh, the other way around actually. So um, 
minus height minus height dim I don't know like this multiple y dim uh, dim dim basically deck dim actually deck dim okay uh, this I don't know color whatever paint uh, color oh God. let's let's make it I don't know Let's make it black for starts, right? I don't know which. Yeah, gooey, gooey, gooey. What's gooey? Yeah, like this. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, basically. It's supposed to feet 20 vertically we also probably want either numbers are they repeating actually yeah they're repeating yeah we'll probably want a uh, color palette some sort of right um And I want also to center it. Um, so it's basically left is going to be um, with, with. Kind of like this. Oh, it's actually 4.5, right? Now minus nine with minus dim nine like this uh, plus left. Yeah, now it's centered and what we want is different colors for different letters. We can use letters as well, uh, but what I want first is, well, actually, yeah, I want, I want letters. Um, huh, how, how do I actually convert from, I don't know how. So basically I need 31 kind of what I want actually <laughs> um, okay let's say let uh, def color n um, where is well, how many letters are like 26 or something like that right 25 probably is from zero um i'll actually from s like this and our n is gonna be minus slash a well actually first s slash a right Well, it, yeah, it's going to be like this, uh, divide minus slash z slash a. So it's basically 0 to 1, probably. Color a, <laughs> color z doesn't work. Okay, yeah, character cannot be cast, uh, but we can do this still can't um there's int value or something like this right uh, 
well, we can use always can use code point at s zero like this. Ah, oh, it's okay. Let's say a is code point at a zero, right? Z same for Z minus A uh, minus Z A zero one and uh, something like N is yeah double okay cool uh, now what I want is a formula that uh, translates H is B to RG. No, it's HSL, right? Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of like this. What's M? Okay, <laughs> um, we can do this, I guess, maybe, do we have this, is it, is, does it work right now, no, it's, it's sad, maybe there is code somewhere, yeah, there is code. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is this is much better. <laughs> um, Q to RGB and PKT uh, count wa what? This code is mutable, so I have to do this. And and after that we go into contributory. Okay, um, and finally put it here, let Q if small
Okay, so uh, we had this. Oh, we had this, okay. So let's see if HSL RGB works. So zero, zero. Well, we want saturation one and lightness one. Lightness 0 0.5. Okay, this is red, right? Uh, right. Uh, how much? Okay, uh, 0 0.5. This is some sort of, yeah, it seems to work. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, the way we want color is We want HSL to RGB. Uh, well, we want RGB, uh, SHL to RGB, and um, 1, 0 0.5. Okay. And then probably color Java. Mm, I didn't have it open, but let's have humble UI. But we need Skia color Java uh, color. Oh, do we have color CLJ? No, uh, color maker GB basically. Color maker GB multiple H255 uh, multiply J255 multiply Blue 255. Right? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> um, is this correct? Probably not. Or maybe it is. Uh, we actually <laughs> we will never know. <laughs> uh, okay, no, I, I'm kidding. Set color. Uh, Paint, big paint, BG, color, roll, right? Yes, redraw. Kind of works, kind of works. Let's uh, actually, we don't need that much, right? So we can put it probably somewhere under my, no, too close. Let's put it on the left side, like here. Um, yeah, uh, you know what? No, 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 um, somewhere in here we actually want um, yeah, no. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, and now if I I can make it like this. Then I can make this like this, right? Looks cool. And I think maybe it's too saturated. And maybe lightness could be. Yeah, that's too dark, right? Um, and four. And I still probably want. Hmm, 
letters, right? Letters. Um, canvas draw draw string x y canvas We need font and paint, uh, font UI field text. This will, um, canvas string, oh, I forgot string, okay. Okay, and we probably need uh, blue plus, I don't know, five, ten. 15, 16, yeah, whatever. Um, maybe like 38 or something. Okay, so it's basically eight scale and 38 is uh, scale right yeah and what we want is different color ff 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 like this paint text okay so now we have our towers and we can actually Execute algorithm um, in a very simple because it's it's like basically swap stacks um, move right. Move M redraw Kind of like this, right? What did, am I forgetting? Uh, maybe do reset stacks parse stacks data, but this should animate them, right? Huh. Interesting can pop and director. It shouldn't be empty rector. And it should take about a minute, right? Uh, 
uh, with strikis as well. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking. Uh, we actually e like this. Uh, we want move one. like this and maybe yeah this is much more smooth and we basically we move one stack at a time like one block at a time even if command says move 10 because they move one by one it's much more smoother right this is beautiful i don't know <laughs> I was thinking maybe animation like like it flies up like moves and flies down, but even with this, it's like take twenty five seconds and this is like as fast as it gets. Um, probably the proper way to do this would be like uh, move. Parse moves data, right? Um, basically, like this. Uh, moves like this. Then, what we are going to do is def animate one. And basically, when some M peak moves, um, if Amount M swap. Huh. Uh, basically what we do here is we do the same right so warp moves update zero update amount deck otherwise we do swap moves up B. no next basically next uh, but we want to also keep it vector right um, uh -huh, okay and yeah okay so we need animate one actually you know what we need animate one somewhere in here, which means for, for now moves is nil. So basically, what um, We call redraw actually GUI redraw. Mm 
maybe even just do this, right? What? Like this, and if we insert here, uh, yeah, we, we should remove this. For some reason, it tries to pop empty vector. Not sure how we're getting zero amounts actually. Still getting empty amounts somehow. This is weird. Because we don't have this removes. Yay, it's working. And now it's proper, pr properly updates uh, with refresh rate of your monitor. So it's like one move per one frame, exactly. But still, it's, it's going to take like, I don't know, half a minute, right? So probably no, no extra animation. Q, N, N, T, G, T, P, F, N. Um, nicer color scheme would be good, probably, I don't know, but um, seems fine for me, actually. I'm probably going to leave it like this. I didn't use cont plus, as it seems to, we didn't use paint, really. Oh, we use paint, yeah, so it's okay. Ah, we didn't solve part two. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was about to call it a day, but there's also part two. I forgot about it, actually. This is nice visualization. 
Uh, part two, as you watch the crane operator expertly rearrange the crates, you notice the process isn't following your predictions. So Matt was covering the writing of the side of the crane and you quickly wipe it away. The crane isn't crate mover 9000, it's crate mover 9001. The crate mover 9001 is notable for many new and exciting features, air conditioning, cruiser sets, and extra capable and ability to pick up and move multiple crates at once. Again, considering the example above, crates begin in the same configuration, moving a single crate from stack 2 to stack 1 behave same as before. However, the action of moving three crates from stack 1 to stack 3 means that those three moved crates stay in the same order, resulting in this new configuration. Next, uh, both crates are moved from stack 2 to stack 1. They retain the order as well. Okay, finally, a single crate is still moved from stack 1 to stack 2. But now it's crate C that gets moved from the example, crate more. Okay, so basically it's the same, but um, the way we move multiple is different. So here our move is... Um, do move one multiple times, right? Uh, we can't do that anymore, so... Um, don't use parse two, really. Um, okay, so... But we need move two, right? So basically what it does is... We have drop last. Uh, we have take last. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> uh, we are going to take stacks. We are going to, going to update from with well let stack is take last and stacks from uh, amount, right? Update from uh, drop last Kind of like this, right? Uh, this is move two. Um, and basically, what we have to do here is move. We'll have to change this to do move two instead of move one, actually. Let's move it under part two. Here. Maybe okay. Uh, parts. This is exactly the same, but we are going to um, see what the result is. <laughs> Uh, CMZ, which is wrong, so it's not more working. How about this? Key must be integer. Okay, amount can cut. I'm doing key must be integer. Date from to huh? Yeah, it should be like this. Actually. 
lazy seek cannot be cast. Oh, uh, let's convert everything for vector just in case. MCD, okay. But we are not going to run this one because I want actually to run Move to uh, swap next. Okay, and I want what I want. I want actually this comment. All right. And the result is GG and something, but we, we are going to see it here. Yeah, let's see if it's correct. And that's the right answer, but we, we got something better. We got like nice visualization, right? So it's either this or if we use move one, it will be like this. Well, basically the same, but uh, different. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Um, yeah, let's leave, leave it at move two. Let's commit this, right? Of course. It's day of five, day of five, year 2022, day of five. Uh, it's actually quite interesting how they came up with this um, this code because like it should work. Ah oh, no, it's actually fine. Ah yeah, I get it because like when you move, the amount of blocks is always the same in each. So basically, the shape is the same, but uh, letters are in different order because you always move the same amount of block from one to another, it's just the order that is different. So it's uh, quite simple. My screen seems to be frozen. That would be unfortunate. Hmm. Come on, OBS. Okay, this is for, that's unfortunate. Thanks for letting me know, but I'm not sure how much we lost. Uh, I guess I should move away from OBS from now on, but uh, let me show you this nice visualization. This is move two, so it's like second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it provides the correct answer as well. And we already committed it. Yes, yes, we committed it. Okay, uh, day five, nice. Um, let me stop the recording for day five.